O.C. White was one of my favorite individuals. Come on, y'all. Anybody out here in this audience from Milwaukee that y'all I can get an amen from? O.C. White, Dr. Bop, two of the baddest DJs. Uh, Frankie Crocker was out of New York. But if you came to Milwaukee or anywhere near this area, Chicago area, because what we about, what, 90 minutes, if that long, 30 minutes, 45 minutes outside Chicago. I'm the neighbor, next door neighbor of Chicago. Chicago is just a hop step and a jump away. For those of y'all don't know how close Milwaukee and Chicago, we should be twin cities. Okay, Gurney, Illinois, where everybody goes to you know, great big flags is right. It's, it's in between both of us. So, like I said, about an hour and 45 minutes to an hour, you in Chicago. Um, with that being said, you had Chicago's crowd over here. You had everybody over here. If anybody out here can remember Summerfest, y'all come on. Y'all come on. Give me some. Give me some. Um, um, um. Anyway. It said O.C. White of WAW who had taken the mic between sets to try to keep the crowd under control. He told the speaker climbers to get down or else the stones wouldn't slide the family stone wouldn't play. Summerfest didn't even have enough security guards to get the people down. The crowd guilted those people to get down. We shamed them to get down. Ugh. Nearly an hour after their scheduled 9 p.m. start time, Sly and the Family Stone finally took the stage. I love you, Sly. I love you. And you started off with, get on up and dance to the music. Doom, 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 doom. But Wing Grab recalls just a couple minutes into the Revelty Simple song, the band disappeared to get lost. They were probably so high, they may not have even realized that Wayne Grass said yesterday, uh, um, uh, it, it was just horrendous. Worried that a bad performance could infuriate a hot and huge crowd, Wayne Grass said that yesterday's children manager quickly arranged for police escort off the grounds for the band's local bus to get them out of there. The headliners were on stage for about 50 minutes, Jensen, where all about 20 minutes of that time was spent tinkering with the microphones to little avail. <laughs> Evidently, someone stepped on the loudspeaker cable and only a few thousand could hear more than a crackly portions of Sly's, uh, Sly's voice. Sly said he wasn't having it. Somehow, you can make it if you try, came through, but his higher number of Woodstock fame made everybody friendly, and that was a problem. In his review, Jensen wrote, when the band played the protected ride the rhythm, the music swung like mad, never letting up. And when Sly lays down the line, you can make it if you try, he sets it down with blistering force. After the set, police were wearing riot gear. <laughs> oh, my God. Police were wearing riot helmets and gear and carrying night sticks that kept the fans back so the band could get into their cars and be escorted off the Summerfest grounds. With Rockfest, if no one gets killed or seriously injured, it's a success, North wrote. Milwaukee Summerfest box office explosion did better than that. It stayed fairly cool and survived the traumas of a sound of the sound and fury. Less than 24 hours later, that wasn't the case. Sly and the Family Stone was scheduled to headline a free rock concert in Chicago's Grant Park on the 22nd. The rumors spread in the crowd that Sly wasn't going to show up, and a riot broke out at 5.15. The, um, uh, about 162 people were injured, including 130 police officers, with 30 sent to the hospital. Three young people were shot, cars were set ablaze and flipped over, and hundreds of windows were shattered, and jewelry department stores looted. Let me tell you something. You know, Chicago, y'all always did wild out. Chicago, Chicago shoot at Pride Fest. Who, who shoots at the Pride Fest? Y'all shoot at everything. Everything in that Grant Park? Don't play. All right.
I done parted too many times in Grant Park and had to run for my life. Although I love Grant Park. <laughs> anyway, you know, this was a piece of history 50 years ago in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, Sly and the Family Stone turning out one of the most greatest, shortest concert. Um, in a summer fest history. All right, I will be back with another video.